Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My name is Swanee and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm not going to be giving any gameplay tips or doing any ranking videos. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about fashion. Now with Helldivers 2, there's two types of players. There's the first player that wants to pick the best outfit for the job and they want to have the best stats. And then there's the player that just wants to look cool. And the purpose of today's video is for those of you that don't care about the stats of your armor and just want to look like a badass. So I'm going to go over some of my favorite outfit combinations that I've discovered so far in Helldivers 2. As of recording this video, I have most of the outfits that you can currently obtain in the game. If you go to the armory, it says I have 30 out of 71 and 30 out of 93 helmets and 11 out of 46 capes. I think I'm missing maybe a handful, but I do have most of the outfits, and obviously they're going to add a ton of more outfits to the game later. So if you guys enjoyed this video at any point, please give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. And then if you guys really like this video, once they eventually add more outfits, I will make a part two. So the first outfit tip that I have for you guys has to do with the Trailblazer Scout Helmet. Now you get this on page 7 of the Helldivers Mobilize War Bond. And the cool thing about this helmet is that it's currently the only helmet in the game that has a hood on it. And this hood is equipped at all times and it can be paired with pretty much any outfit. So for example, if we put a black cape on our character, which goes quite well with the hood, like you can mix and match most of these capes, but the black works the best. So we're gonna go with the black cape. And then if you take a look at the armor sets, this helmet obviously doesn't match with every outfit from the front, but if you look at the behind angle, which you know, this is the angle that you're going to see like 90% of the time while you're playing. You see your character from behind because, you know, you play in third person. All of these different outfits look really cool having a hood up with a black cape. Like the Legionnaire outfit, the Infiltrator, the Trailblazer Scout. Like all these outfits completely change the way that they look and feel just by having a hood up. And having a hood up kind of gives my characters this Destiny type vibe. So... If you're a big fan of Destiny and you like to play as the Hunter class, that's kind of what it feels like. Now, some of my favorite combos with the hood is the FS-11 Executioner armor combined with the black cape. And with this whole outfit combined, when you look at it from behind, it kind of gives me this big, bulky, like, Darth Malgus kind of vibe. I, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just the shoulder pads with the hood up. Anytime I'm rocking this outfit, it kind of makes me feel like I'm a Sith Lord, which is pretty cool. So I definitely recommend this combo. And then another combination I really like is the FS-34 Exterminator armor combined with the helmet and a black cape. That also looks really cool. And this outfit combination kind of makes me feel more like a hunter from Destiny. So I really like this combo as well. And then probably my personal favorite with the hooded outfit is the CE-81 Juggernaut armor. There's something about this armor set combo that kind of makes me feel like Batman from behind. I guess it's just the look of the bulkiness of the armor and the shoulder pads. I don't know why I'm getting some Batman vibes, but it, it kind of makes me feel like Batman. And I mean, who doesn't want to feel like Batman? So I personally really love this outfit combo as well. I really like the look of the Trailblazer Scout helmet and the Juggernaut armor. The only thing that I don't like about the Trailblazer helmet is that the front part of the mask just, you know, it doesn't match every outfit. So hopefully in the future, they do add a couple of more helmets that have some hoods on them because I really like the look of the hood. I just don't like the look of the front of the helmet. So definitely play around with the Trailblazer Scout helmet and let me know what cool combos you were able to to come up with. So the next cool helmet that I want to talk about that will match with most of the outfits in the game is the SA-25 Steel Trooper helmet. Now you get this helmet from the Steel Veterans War Bond and it can be found on the very first page so it's not too difficult to get. And the reason this helmet is so cool and it matches with pretty much every outfit is because unlike all the other tactical helmets, this one is completely black. It doesn't have any yellow stripes and it comes with that really cool visor which kind of makes me feel like I'm Boba Fett. As you can see here, all the other tactical helmets have some sort of like yellow striping on them and obviously a yellow stripe isn't going to match with every single outfit, but an all black helmet will. So some of my personal favorites combined with this helmet is the SC-37 Legionnaire outfit, which is, you know, kind of like a pilot outfit. I think that works really well together. I like the B08 Light Gunner outfit. I like the SA-12 Servo Assisted Armor, which comes with the black and orange and the robotic arm and leg, and then it comes with that little shoulder 
piece, which is like another targeting laser or whatever. So you have both the little recon visor and the like shoulder targeting system. I don't know what that is, but I think that looks really cool together. The helmet works really well with the SC-15 Drone Master. It works pretty well with the Bone Snapper armor, and it goes well with the FS-34 Exterminator. So this is probably my second favorite helmet in the game, only second to the hooded Trailblazer Scout helmet, just because of how many outfits that this helmet can pair with. So next up, I want to show you a cool armor set combo. Now this is the SC-15 Drone Master armor set with the B-08 Light Gunner helmet with a black cape. Now the reason I like this outfit combo so much is because it reminds me of the Ranger armor from Fallout New Vegas. I think it's just the combo of the tan and the that helmet. This helmet is like very similar to the one in New Vegas. Combined with the black cape, this is just one of my favorite outfits to use because I really love Fallout New Vegas. And who doesn't want to roleplay as a Fallout Ranger going around killing things in Helldivers 2? So this is one of my favorite outfit combos in the entire game, and I normally find myself going back to this outfit because of just how badass it looks. So I definitely recommend the C-15 Drone Master armor and the B-08 Light Gunner helmet. So next up, I want to talk about the SA-32 Dynamo Helmet. Now you get this helmet from the Steel Veterans War Bond as well. It is on the third page, clear at the bottom, so it is a bit expensive and it's going to take you a while to get. But I really like combining this helmet with the CM-09 Bone Snapper Armor. And then for the cape, I like to go with orange and black because it complements the helmet. And then I also like to go with this black and green cape because it also matches as well. And then I sometimes switch it up and just go with all black. And all three of these capes I kind of interchange because they all kind of match and go with each other. But I really like the look of the Bone Snapper armor combined with the Dynamo helmet. So the next outfit combo I want to talk about is the Champion of the People outfit. And you get this outfit by reaching page 10 of the Helldivers Mobilize Warbond. This at the very end. It's probably the hardest outfit to get in the entire game. This is like the late game armor outfit. But the problem that I have with this outfit is that I don't like the Light of Liberty cape. It just doesn't match. You know, it's got the black and the gold and it doesn't really match the red and the tan like this armor kind of makes me feel like a shore trooper from star wars but i like to go with the bastion of integrity cape with this outfit instead just because the white and the black and the red matches a lot better so i really like the look of this outfit combined with this cape so next up is an outfit that reminds me of just a plain old stormtrooper and it's the b24 enforcer armor combined with the cm09 bone snapper helmet and then I'll either go with just a black cape or I'll go with the Bastion of Integrity black and red cape from before. And using this outfit combo, I feel like this is one of the closest outfits that you can get to to feeling like you're playing as a Stormtrooper. And then if you combine the B24 Enforcer helmet with the CM09 Bone Snapper armor, it makes you feel like you're a snow trooper. So for these two outfits, I basically just swapped the helmets with the armor pieces. I just put the Enforcer helmet with the Bone Snapper armor and the Bone Snapper helmet with the Enforcer armor. So the final outfit that I want to talk about in today's video is the CE-35 Trench Engineer. And the reason I want to talk about this armor is because it pairs so well with so many of the helmets in this game. Now you find this on page 3 of the Helldivers Mobilize War Bond, so it's pretty easy to get. And my favorite capes to pair with it are the default Foe Smasher cape, which is all black, or the Tide Turner cape, which is orange and black. And then there are a bunch of different helmets that go with this. My favorite is the SC-37 Legionnaire helmet. That is my personal favorite to pair with the armor. But some other helmets that work really well with this outfit is the SA-32 Dynamo because it's got some white and some orange. So, you know, it matches really well together. I also like the CM-09 Bone Snapper helmet because it's all white. I also like the SC-15 Drone Master armor because it's got some black and some gray and some orange. So it matches really well. And then I also like the B-24 and Forcer helmet, which reminds me of the Snow Trooper. And all these white helmets and these black and dark gray helmets with some orange all work really well with this armor set. So that is going to do it for some of my favorite outfit combinations in Helldivers 2. Let me know what your guys' favorite outfit combinations are down in the comment section down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated and helps me out in the algorithm. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on any future Helldivers 2 videos. So that is going to do it for me, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all next time.